Oops. <laughs> what did you do, Spark? You had it. You had it, Splarg Feck. You had the game. Wow. Hello and welcome back to Bad Magic with the Citrus Fruit that just got back from the Bayou Wrestling Alligators in preparation for his upcoming MMA career. Me, Moldy Kumquat. Now, today we are playing a combo deck. Now, I, after playing my Rakdos ramp deck with Vein Ripper, I decided that I wanted to do the Vein Ripper combo and put it in a uh, control deck and it all be based around pulling these guys out of the graveyard. And this is what we did. So, I think it did pretty good. We went 7-3 and three with version 3. And I mean, I want to be clear on that. We had three different versions. The first two stunk it up. The third one, chef's kiss. Um, we didn't make a whole lot of changes. It was mainly to the mana base. Uh, put in some wretched sorrow from some life gain. Um, and, and that was pretty much it. Uh, our Path of Perils are in here for, you know, the, the Mono Red and Boros players, which we also have the Ill-Timed Explosion and the Deadly Cover-Up. Plenty of, uh, wipes here. We put in one Beseech the Mirror, and it came into play a lot, uh, in order to go get our cards that we needed at the time. But it's really nice when it comes off of a trumpet, uh, Trumpeting Carnosaur. You play the Beseech for free, you get your pull, Hopefully you've got your combo set up and you're set to win next turn. Anyway, we're going to get right into the games, but first, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification button because we are going live now on more than just uh, Magic uh, the Gathering. Like last night, uh, we played World of Warcraft for the first time in a long time and had a lot of fun doing so. So make sure you're turning the notifications on so you can be notified when that is happening. Um, other than that... Let's get right into it. The time for talking is over. The time for playing is now. Perfect. I like this because I can play the Brass Tunneler and get rid of the Vein Ripper and the Carnosaur if I decide to do so. So right now that is the path we're on. And he is playing Merfolk. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. You're going to stay on this path and make him think we're in the Demir game plan. Another fading hope. Mm -hmm. So now he's going to uh, find out. At least a little bit more about what we're doing. Maybe not fully, but a little bit more. I do have to say that it sucks uh, playing for an hour and not recording. By the way, um, if you've made it to this part of the video, um, I should tell you that um, I recorded for over an hour, had some good wins, had some bad losses, and uh, yeah, and none of it is going to see the light of day. Sorry. We're going to try to make up for that. But. It is what it is. I guess it's the nature. Nature of things. <coughs> <coughs> it 
is the nature of things. Yeah, that's fine. Send it back to the old hand. I've got my vein rippers in there now, so unless you, uh, unless you have what you, what you need to deal with that, then um, this is going to be a GG's, good sir. This is going to be a GG's. I just have to stay above uh, zero. Do this. Come on, big score. And I'm going to drop the scholar. And then we're going to path. Because why not? Why freaking not? Delete those merfolk. Splargfeck, you have two cards in hand. I don't think there is much for you to do. Except play more merfolks, which is fine by me. My plan is different. So now the question here remains... We'll pass the turn. So when he um, goes to uh, crew again, then um, okay, he's not going to. Let's try to get our push pulled in. Right there it is, and an ill-timed explosion. Do you think he's playing with a counter spell? And we're about to find out, right? If he's playing with a counter spell, this will be everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does he have a counter spell? No, he does not. What's he doing? Does he have something to deal with it? Is he going to crew? He is going to crew. Well, this is some kind of like combo shit. So I should have, um, I guess, killed everything. Maybe he'll get cocky and just take it, you know? But I doubt it, or he would have done this at the end of his turn, not before combat. Not, not as I'm ta uh, attacking. I'm just going to let him run out his time. You had it, Splargfeck. 
You had the game. Wow. Not a fan of this hand, really. Probably need to put more basics in here. Take my bitter triumph. That's the only card you can take because you would think that I would use that against your bat to get it back. Get that back, bat, bat back. I'm not really worried about. As long as you don't take a push pull out of my hand, that's, that's about the only thing that I'd be worried about. Um, yeah, we'll do it like that. Go ahead and take my path of peril. There you go, buddy. There you go, because your bats are everything. Not too concerned, if I have to say so myself. Not too concerned. Look, you can see every card I have now. the Ak Aklazots because it'll become more land so I would think that if he had something to take care of the Aquazots, he would uh, have done it. Well, maybe he's just playing on his phone and going slow, because that seems to be all I'm playing today are phone players who take a billion years to take their turn. Like, like seriously, like, did you not think about what you wanted to do with that before you played it? Or is this legitimately how long it takes phone players to take their turns? Like, I already know what I'm doing next turn. God, I wish I would have had that, to be per perfectly honest. Always attacking in. And that's when you find out that your opponent is playing a retarded. Mm. Esper reanimator deck, and you just helped him out. Like, is, is it even reanimator? Like, what is this? Goop? Esper Goop is what I'm going to call it. Esper Goop. Esper, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to play, so I just played it all, deck. A devious cover-up off the top would be really nice. A devious cover-up off the top would be very freaking nice. Or this game's over. That's pretty much how that works. Yeah, that'll work too. That will work too. But he does have the No More Lies that he can't cast right now. So what do I have in here? Just one Vein Ripper? One, two, three, four. Let's, uh... Let's 
go ahead and get him here for a little bit. I'm on the mill myself. And we'll just do it like this. I'll just keep milling myself until I can play the the push pull. And hope that he does not keep a no more lies open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would need two more lands. Darn it, man. Why did this not just dump better fucking cards in here? I gotta think about how I'm going to do this. Um, really would have. I would really would have liked to have had that turn. Really would have liked to have had that turn. No more lies free. One, two, three, four. I'd like him to... Oh, no. Play a shouldered or something. Just play a shouldered. Nope. How many... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He'll no more lies this. Right? Hopefully that's the only one he has in his hand. Yeah. Hopefully that's the only one he has in his hand. But the way my luck goes is he if he didn't have it in his hand, he just drew it. Nothing on Innistrad screened. Five, six, seven, eight. If I draw land off the top, it might not matter. Draw a land off the top, it might not matter. Of course, it's a tap land. I mean, it doesn't matter. He, if I, if I, if he has a, a counter, it's it's game over anyway. Because he just needs to soar. And try, I know he does. We, I know he has a counter. Or a way of dealing with this. Or maybe he doesn't. Maybe his priority is a cut down. Oh my god, let's go! Mega Pepito! Get deleted by the Ripper! Come on! That's all it takes, ladies and gentlemen, for your opponent not to have a counter or an answer. Uh, I mean, yeah, we got answers, we got draw, and we got a cabaret courtyard. But it looks like they're only playing mono white, so I'll take the we'll get rid of the Shivan Reef. Nope. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Two more lands. Good. Three more lands. Good. Exactly what I wanted right here. All the lands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands out of the first 11 draws. Eight lands in the first 11 draws. I'm playing 24 for reference. 24 lands for reference. Twenty four lands for reference. Um, twenty four lands for reference. So he's playing Bant Control. Could just make sure that's the end of that, right? Let's see what he's got going on. Yeah, he's he's just full full bant ramp control. Planeswalkers. Yeah, I love every bit of this. I'm digging the deck. I love Bant. I'll give him a nice. Because I like what you're doing. But, you know, unfortunately for somebody that is trying to make videos, um, it seems that uh, nobody wants to watch Bant decks. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why, but it is a, a thing. I'm going to play the Carnosaur. I see the Depopulate. I'm going to put it in my hand. I guess I could have played it. Okay, so you used the, the Ur Urzas. And it's just a destroy, so... That's what I... I'm fine with destroy. Wow, this is just ridiculous. Wow. I'm amazed. I am super amazed. Super amazed. How many lands? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in the first 22 cards. 12 lands. Not a, not that big of a deal, right? With all this draw, I've drawn, drawn, uh, drawn. <coughs> he too is drawing. But one thing I did not see in his deck was a way of handling the Vein Rippers when they come out. I'll do it this way. No, um, focus and pray. Nothing good. Aklazots.
push pull now. I'm in the bottom half of my deck. Four of them. None seen. Actually, I need more than one push pull. However, I can beseech the mirror it. I've got my one artifact left. I can beseech the mirror. And play it. Alright. That is exactly what I'm going to do. Except. Except. I forget every time. It's a not for instance or sorceries. Oh, every time I forget that. Four or less is what it is. The four or less part is what it is. I am privileged to carry true history to the other world. Sure. I mean, I wish this thing would, re you know, remember what I saw in his deck. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Now this will take him down to four, but I think I want to do it this way, because I'm not going to kill him. But it puts me in a better spot to to deal with whatever he's got coming. Mm -hmm. Like this is his whole. Plan is is through these planeswalkers. Push pull costs six, by the way. Just in case you were wondering. set up to win next turn like he, he's not he, he, he probably doesn't want to not depopulate because four is a lot of damage for him right now See? so he can't play his fairy he's got three four mana or three mana I don't think I saw counter spells in there and I could be wrong but I do not think that I saw counter spells in there Not this time, Callop. Not this time. Let's go. I like your deck. But it could use a little tweaking to be better. But I like the concept.
Oh, this is just, I am so freaking over bad draws, man. Oh, yay, against the toxic deck. Woohoo! I'm so happy. This is so much fun. Somebody that's not going to interact at all with anything I do. He's just going to draw cards and give me poison. Yay, I'm so happy. This is so much fun. Yay. There's a land. Let's get rid of everything else. Yay, Path of Peril. Oh, man. Andre Gato. I wonder what that means. I know Gato is cat. Play it like that. We'll play the old Takayuma as a land. You know, I could do this. So at least I'll have a Carnosaur to pull out of my graveyard and, and, and maybe try to go more of a stompy route towards getting this taken care of. Ooh. Um. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. So the question is, is, is do we... Well, we definitely big score here. We'll dump the Vein Ripper. This will give us the option for land. I can, honestly... I can do six... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 to him. I mean, do we want to get rid of like maybe this? Does he have a counter spell? I mean, if he does, that's okay. I think I want to get rid of this. Okay. Let's see what else he has. I mean, it's just it's just the typical uh, this deck. I mean, other than these guys, I don't see this guy a lot, but everything else is pretty much exactly what you see in this kind of deck, and it's, I, I, I don't, I don't really like, you know, saying things about things, but you just got to be a certain type of person to play that kind of deck, you know, you read, you can read between the lines there. Okay. I mean, it's again. See, it's it's like that was pointless, other than to get a poison uh, a poison counter there. So I am going to go ahead and push pull here. Um, I don't think he has any. I mean, he would have had to have drawn it. I'm going to get the uh, yeah. Get the five. I don't need to. I don't need to bargain. And turn. 
So the idea is that if I don't draw a land next turn, I'll get my mana from Takayuma, play Takayuma, see? So... Now we can just push-pull again, and this should do it, unless he drew another answer, and it's not looking like he did so. Let's go! This is 5 and 1 with version 3, by the way. 5 and 1 with version 3. This one. This is turning out okay. I like what we've got going on here. Give me something to to deal with, which doesn't seem like he's going to. Give me something to work with here, buddy. Ooh, so is this a, um... Thank you. Now I got two in there, so I'm push-pulling next turn, Jesus. Yes, sir. I think, anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. I am push-pulling this turn. Thank you very much. Gracias. Mucho gracias. Muchos gracias, Jesus. And we will go ahead and play that. Uh, discard that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Boom, boom. And that turn. Take another four damage. Wish it was eight. But he's got to go get one card. But it doesn't matter because it does three damage to you. Let's freaking go. Heckin' right, Zizus. I forgot all about that. I forgot about that. Yep. We will keep it. Uh, we'll play the Haunted Ridge so I can thrill next turn. Drop the Ripper. He likes it a lot. Nami. What's up, Nami? What are we doing? We're playing mono white, it looks. Yeah. Yep. Thought it might be Boros, but it looks to be a mono white deck, and I think we should be good on this. Oh, another Ripper already. Oh, and a Beseech. The Mirror. So... keep that I think what I'm gonna do here is I am going to bitter triumph the whatever I feel like I need to bitter triumph beseech next turn when I, I'm gonna drop the vein ripper into my graveyard with the bitter triumph beseech next turn for a push pull and then maybe, okay, so that gave me my bitter triumph target for sure. Not dealing with that sucker. Oh, actually, n instead of beseeching next turn, I'm going to ill-timed explosion. That's what I'm doing this turn. We're going to explode these things. And... I'll get rid of the alkalots. And this. Aklazots. 
Aklazots would be good, uh, you know, but I don't, I'm not really in any danger. I don't feel of, of needing him. Um, turn five, I can beseech. And then turn six, hopefully I draw land. You know, that's kind of where we're at. Or... Or, we're just going to pass the turn. Be a little patient. We're not in any hurry here. We need to get that other land. Not in any hurry here. I really need to draw land. Let's go next turn. Go ahead and kill this one pre-combat. And I've got one more turn to draw land. I'm gonna be I'm gonna beseech the mirror this turn. I'm still not in any danger. Okay, that's actually good because we can do this. We can get our push pull. And then we can make sure, hopefully, one of the next three cards we draw, we can draw is a land. Um, which uh, an untapped land. Um, which I've got a forty two percent chance to draw. So <sighs> I still think we're looking good. Nami has zero clue what's happening here. That's that's my guess. Is that she has, he or she has zero clue what's happening. Oh, look at that. See? Untapped land. Game over. Nami. Game over. Do you even know what's happening right now? Do you even know what's happening? Nami. What do you have? Probably a get lost. <laughs> Probably a get lost. Got something. Not a counter spell. But whatever you do, you're going to have to sack your uh, inspector. You're going to have to sack him. You're thinking about it. You're thinking hard. You are thinking super hard. Oh, are you going to let him attack? If, if you let this damage... There's nothing you can do now, Nami. Nothing that you can do. I'm not even watching. It's happening over here. But I don't need to watch. Because I know what's happening. It's GG's, baby. GG's. We're like the cream. We're rising all the way to the top. Deleted. Yes, we had fun. No, I hit the wrong one. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed those games. You know I did. If you stuck around to the end, thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. You can hit that button right down in the, the bottom corner there. It's very easy, and make sure you're hitting the notification button so you can be notified when my videos go live. Until next time, I hope you have a most wonderful of days. Take care.